Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Yankee Stadium field where Fresno State and Hawaii do not abide by the rules of a clock, and they have decided to start their game early. That's the second pitch of the game. All right, so let's jump right into it. Fresno State, the road team. This is Natalie Elias, who is batting. And in the circle for Hawaii is Addison Kostin, Kostrensich. As that is fouled off, we'll cancel that music here in a moment that's playing in the background as we are all caught. Well, again, they decided to start the game five minutes early without informing anyone. So here we are. Top of the first inning, just underway. And that's high for a ball. So let's get uh, situated here. Kostrin Sitch, as you look at the lineup for Fresno State, Elias leading off here, the right fielder, swings and misses, and she is down on strikes. So a strikeout to open the day. And okay, now we'll see Keahi Matson come up to bat. For the Bulldogs, one out. Kostrin Sitch, the transfer from Long Beach State. First pitch swinging Matson in the air to deep center field, and that ball is gone. And a home run for Keani Matson. And Fresno State takes a 1 0 lead quickly on the first home run of the season for the senior for the Bulldogs. 1 0 Fresno State playing. In their first game here at the Mary Nutter Classic. Well, Costin, Costin Sitch before that had not given up a home run this season. A 5.35 ERA, a 1-2 and two record. This is her third start, her fourth appearance. Juliana Wilson is the batter here for Fresno State. Ball and a strike to count. See the defensive alignment for Hawaii. And that hits Wilson. Yamamoto, Bethea, and Gibbs left to right in the outfield. Kelinoi, Zhao Jin, Nakamura, Millwood from third to first, and Martinez doing the catching for Kostrensich. Who gave up the home run, and now the hit by pitch. Matson's home run for Fresno State. It's their fourth home run of the season. They come in 7-4 and four on the year. All 11 of their games played at home thus far. Medell in the batter, and that gets away from the catcher Martinez and allows Wilson to go up to second base. Sophia Medell in the first baseman. 333 on the season with four doubles, a homer, and eight RBI. Taking a strike. One and one. It was a pass ball issued there to allow the runner to move up. One out here in the top of the first inning. Matson with a home run for the Bulldogs has them in front. Now two balls and a strike is the count. Kostrin Sitch delivers, ball at the knees, and inside. Lauren Elmida is on deck for the Bulldogs. Hawaii comes in 1-5 on the season. This is lifted to the opposite field by Medellin. It's in the infield, though, and caught by the second baseman Nakamura for the second out of the inning. So two outs and a runner on at second base, Juliana Wilson there. And it's going to be Lauren Almeida, the shortstop for the Bulldogs. 
a junior from Hawaii. Swings and hits it on the ground up the middle by the bag and into center field. Picked up by Bethea. Rounding third coming home is Wilson, and she will score and up to second after an RBI hit is Lauren Almeida, and Fresno State now has a 2-0 advantage. For Almeida, her sixth RBI of the season, the transfer from Utah Tech, where she was second team all whack last year. Now she's at second base, and Kennedy Bunker is the batter, the catcher for the Bulldogs. Close, but outside for ball one. Next delivery off the end of the bat and looped into right left field for a base hit. Being sent home is Elmita from second. She will score. And so she moved up on the throw to the plate on her RBI hit, which now allows her to score on the RBI single by Bunker. And the Bulldogs rolling here in the first inning on top 3 nothing with three hits so far. Now up to the plate is Emma Martinez, the second baseman for the Bulldogs. And this is hit well in the left field, down the line. Another hit for Fresno State. Bunker is going to dive into third base head first. Martinez will check into second base. And that's four hits now for Fresno State, three in a row. As they are jumping all over Kostrensich right now. And there'll be a meeting inside the circle here for the Rainbow Wahine. Deirdre Wisniewski, associate head coach, deals with the pitchers. Talking with Kostrensich right now and the rest of the infield. Kostrensich pitched yesterday against Rutgers for Hawaii. It was a 14-7 loss to Rutgers, and they gave up. In that game, 14 hits to go along with the 14 runs. Kostrensich went three innings, eight hits, eight runs, two walks, no strikeouts. So the struggle's continuing here on day two. I gave credit to Martinez for a double. So second and third in the third baseman, Bella Rocco, the batter. That's low for a ball. The 1-0 pitch in the dirt, 2-0. Rocco is a fifth-year senior from Fontana, California. Played three seasons at Boise State before joining the Bulldogs last year. Was first team all Mountain West back in 2021. And she's ahead of the count, 3-0. A home run by Matson, RBI hits by Elmida and Bunker. And that's a strike, three and one. Rocco, the eighth batter already here in the first inning for Fresno State. They came into the day top 50 in the country with a 327 team batting average, showing why thus far. And draw on the walk is Rocco, and the bases will be loaded. Yeah, that'll bring up Alyssa Rebolito. Sophomore center fielder for the Bulldogs with the bases loaded. There are two outs. Rebolito goes after the first one and fouls it off the right side. Rebolito hitting 0 for 3 on the season. She's mostly a defensive presence. For this team, gets pinch hit for a lot, but getting the chance to bat here with the bases loaded in the first inning, and she's down to the count 0-2. And Bunker at third, Martinez at second, Rocco at first. Three runs already in for the Bulldogs. Drop ball in the dirt. One and two.
First game for Fresno State here in Cathedral City. They'll play one time tomorrow and then twice on Sunday. Inside, and that's a ball, two and two. Kostrensic with the smirk on her face as she walks back to the rosin bag. Thought she had that one. Member of a couple of Big West Championship teams at Long Beach State, including last year. In on the hands, popped up. And back on the run to make the catch is the shortstop Zhao Jin. And yeah, that will retire the side, but not before Fresno State pushes across three runs in the inning on four hits. Got a home run by Matson and RBI knocks by Elmita and Bunker. It's 3 0 Fresno State after a half inning here in Cathedral City. Three nothing Fresno State. Hawaii gets their first crack at the starting pitcher Taylor Gilmore for Fresno State. Malia Zhao Jin, the shortstop, leading off, and she grounds it to the right side on the first pitch. An easy play for Martinez at second pace. One pitch and one out. As you take a look at the rest of the starting lineup for the Rainbow Wahine, We'll set the defense for Fresno State here in a moment as well. As digging in will be Kaena Kelinoi. Takes the first pitch away. Oh, on the outside corner for strike one. Taylor Gilmore is in her seventh year of college softball. Started all the way back in 2018 when she redshirted at Arizona. Spins it low and in. A ball and a strike to Kalinoy. He was hitting 250 on the year. Four for 16. A homer and three RBI. Chopper. Third. Cut off by Rocco across the diamond. To retire Kalinoy. And that's two up and two down. Let's get the defense here for... The Bulldogs, it's Matson, Rebolito, Elias left right in the outfield, Rocco at third, Elmita at short, Martinez at second, Medellin at first, and Bunker doing the catching for Gilmore. Isabella Martinez, the batter now for Hawaii. And there is strike one delivered by Gilmore. Gilmore this season is making her sixth start, 11th appearance, 4-2 and two record with a 286 ERA. But a very solid season a year ago for the Bulldogs, as that is lined on one hop to the third baseman, Rocco, across to Medellin to retire the side. So Taylor Gilmore gets three ground outs, one to second and two to third, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. It's 3 nothing Bulldogs after one inning on flow softball. Thank you. 
Welcome back here to the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic. We'd like to thank our sponsors for the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic, including Japan Takam. Japan Takam is the Japanese Trade Association of Confectionery Manufacturers. And Jug Sports, the mini three jugs machine, is the easy answer to all your softball practice needs. 3 0 Fresno State as we begin the second inning here in a moment. The Bulldogs with four hits in the first inning, including a home run by Kai Matson, an RBI single by Lauren Almeida, an RBI single by Kennedy Bunker. Bulldogs had the bases loaded, but could not push across any more runs as they're right back to the top of the order and Natalie Elias, who struck out swinging to begin the game. Scott Sudikoff here with you. Happy to have you aboard. Flow Softball, this is the Yankee Stadium field. I'll be here with you the entire day from this 10.25 a.m. Pacific time start all the way until the 8.30 Pacific time start later today. So, about 12-hour day. Half swing roller to the third baseman, Kelly Inouye, and she throws it across the diamond to Millwood to retire Elias. Of course, our crew will be just about the same all the way through as well, so we're all in it together here. Kayahi Matson, who homered, I think it was on the first pitch she saw from Kostrensic earlier. She'll take strike one. Yeah, it was on the first pitch she saw in the first inning for the homer. The 0-1 goes after this and hits it opposite way and drops in front of the center fielder, Bethea, in left center field. So, Kayahi Matson is two for two with a homer. And a hard hit single. She started the day hitting 371, and now she's well up above 400. It's five hits now for the Bulldogs already. Juliana Wilson, the batter, going away for a ball. Wilson was hit by a pitch, moved up to second on a pass ball, which was big because then she was able to score on the Lauren Almeida two out single. That's high. Hawaii, again, struggling pitching-wise this season. 757 team ERA entering the game today. Having given up 43, 47 runs in the first six games of the season, including 14 yesterday to Rutgers. That ball was fouled away. And digging back in is Wilson. With Matson at first base. Nice pitch. Doesn't get the call, though. Three and one, so not nice enough. Looked good from my vantage point. Three one pitch. Low and away, ball four. Second walk issued by Kostrin Sitch. And Wilson's been aboard twice, a hit by pitch, and now a walk. Sophia Medellin now will stand in, the first baseman for the Bulldogs. She popped out in the infield her first time. Goes after the first one, hits it high in the air to deep left field at the fence. And as you can see, it lands well beyond the fence. Sophia Medellin with a three-run home run, and it's 6-0 Fresno State. Second home run of the season for Medellin. She now has RBIs. Number 9, 10, and 11, the former California Golden Bear for the last three seasons, making it 6 nothing Fresno State. And Hawaii head coach Bob Kulin, who's in his 33rd year, We'll make a change in the circle. It appears making a change. Yep, now taking the ball from Kostrensic, who has a tough outing in this one. An inning and a third. And six runs. On six hits, including two home runs. And yeah, the new pitcher for Hawaii. 
going to be Chloe Borges, a junior from West Jordan, Utah. We'll step aside quickly here, maybe 30 seconds, and come back. It's Fresno State 6, Hawaii nothing here in the top of the second inning. So Chloe Borges coming on to make her fourth appearance of the season, 0-1 record. She's only thrown three innings, has allowed nine hits and 11 runs, 10 of them earned over that time. Faced three batters yesterday in the circle against Rutgers, allowed a hit with two walks. Lauren Almeida, the batter, had an RBI single and scored in the first inning. Sophia Medellin. Hit a three-run home run a few moments ago for Fresno State's second long ball of the game already. Ball one thrown to Elmita, who's now hitting 324 on the season. Big cut and miss. Six RBI now in the year for Elmita. Looks like we got one fan. Extra close to our microphone, but hopefully they keep it clean. There's a ground ball to the left side by the diving shortstop Xiao Jin into left field, and the beat keeps rolling on here for Fresno State. Three more hits in the inning, and now seven already overall. One down, one down, what a gorgeous view that is here in Cathedral City. Low 70s right now. What number is this girl, 16? I think it's 16. It's going to be a pinch hitter for Fresno State, or excuse me, a pinch runner for Fresno State. It'll be Alyssa Orr, who will pinch run at first base for Lauren Elmida, who's two for two on the day. And the batter due is Kennedy Bunker, who had an RBI single in the first inning. Bunker. At the moment, had a team high nine RBI, tied with her teammate. Yeah, she is tied with her teammate Elmita, with nine RBI. Or oh, check that it's Medellin who now leads the team with eleven RBI because of the three-run homer. That's low. Fresno State seven and four on the season. Stacy May Johnson, fifth year as the head coach. She's over in the third base coach's box right now. Chopper up the first base line, cut off nicely by Millwood, throws to second to get the out there, retiring Elmita, or retiring the pinch runner, or I should say. Yes. And Bunker reaches on a fielder's choice, two down. Emma Martinez, who doubled in the first inning, two down in the inning, and a runner at first. Slides to the outside corner for a strike. Nice pitch by Borges. Martinez now hitting 250 on the year with a hit earlier, four RBI. Two doubles, one triple. And a cut and a miss as she was out in front, 0-2. So Borges trying to face just three batters here in the relief stint thus far. A single, a fielder's choice. A hand on the count, 0-2. 1-2. Oh, Martinez, and the end of the bat, roller, outside of third, foul, 
Foul ball. So the count remains one and two. Yes, Six, yes, Six, keep working. One, two on the way again. Slow roller back to Borges, just outside the circle. Easy toss to retire the side, but Fresno State adds three more runs in the inning on a Sophia Medellin three-run homer. It is six-nothing Bulldogs after an inning and a half. Scott Sudikoff back with you here on Flow Softball. It's six nothing Fresno State. Seven hits over the first two innings. Couple of home runs. Matson a solo shot in the first, and Medella a three run homer in the second. Haley Johnson leads off for the Rainbow Wahine here against Taylor Gilmore at a one two three first inning with three ground outs and throws ball one to Johnson. It was 6 for 15 on the year, a 400 average. It was 2 for 3 yesterday with a couple of runs batted in against Rutgers. Gilmore delivers, and Johnson underneath it. In back of first, down the line, that's the second baseman, Martinez, who makes the catch. Four up and four down for Taylor Gilmore thus far in the circle. Maya Nakamura will come up to bat now, the second baseman. Senior from Honolulu, first team all Big West a year ago. Hit 390 last season, which was third best in the Big West. Fouls off the first pitch. Also led the conference with a 531 OBP last year. So far this season, only hitting 188, three for 16. With a 350 on base percentage. Inside, one and one. Had a couple of hits against Rutgers and a couple of walks, so she was on base four times against the Scarlet Knights yesterday. Gilmore's pitch slides away, two and one. One and five start to the season for Hawaii. Mentioned Bob Coolin earlier in his 33rd year as the head coach, 1,081 wins. And the winning percentage at 609 over the course of his Hawaii coaching career. Started as a head coach at Bentley University in Waltham, Massachusetts, 1984 through 1989. Then was an assistant for two years at Hawaii, 90 and 91, before taking over as the head coach all the way back in 1992. That's a called strike three. Nakamura down on strikes, the first strikeout of the game for Taylor Gilmore. Maya Bethea will come up the center fielder with two outs and nobody on.
In the dirt low for ball one. In on the hands, turning on it, lifting it down the left field line and over the fence. Crashing, trying to go after it. The right fielder, Matson. Hopefully she is okay. They have, yeah, sounds like she's back up on her feet and getting an applause here. Gotta go check on her though, for sure. You have that yellow, I don't want to call it padding. It's a guard on the fence, so you don't get cut up by the fence, but it's not quite padding that she ran into and flipped over. Made the effort, but Thea will still be the batter after it will end up being a long foul ball. Everybody will get back to their spot here in a moment. And Mylia Bethea will dig back in. Two outs in the inning. And that's outside. Try to reset the count here in a moment. Outside for another ball. So I believe we're at three and one. Yep, three balls and a strike. Dubathea. Gilmore comes home. Grounded to the left side by the diving shortstop, Elmita. By the backhand diving attempts. And Bethea, the first base runner of the game for Hawaii. Dallas Millwood will come up to bat. First baseman for the Rainbow Wahine. One for three with a double against Rutgers yesterday. Also reached via a walk. See the runner at first, Bethea. And that's a loop down the left field side and bounces on the grass and skips off to the fence. Bethea will head into third and holding up at first base will be Millwood. Back-to-back -back hits for Hawaii. Trying to get a two-out rally going here in the second inning. Down towards the bottom of the order. And we'll see the right fielder, Mason Gibbs, coming up to the plate. Gibbs is 3 for 14 on the year. A sophomore from Folsom, California. And it bounces low ball one. for two yesterday against Rutgers. Nice. That's up and away, 2-0. and oh. Runners on the corners with two down. Back-to-back yeah, -back hits for Hawaii. And yeah, now we're going to have a visit to the circle for Fresno State. Whitney Aaron, assistant coach, out with some, looks like, Maybe some notes about the mechanics for Gilmore there.
And now the next pitch on the way. That's high to Gibbs. Bethay and Millwood back-to-back -back singles. Why he trying to threaten or trying to score now with this threat? Right down the middle for a strike. Chopper to third. Rocco with the throw to Medellin to retire the side. So Hawaii with a couple of two-out singles, but they leave the two runners stranded. We have played two full innings here at the Yankee Stadium field. It's Fresno State six and Hawaii nothing on flow softball. Six nothing Fresno State as we're into the top of the third inning. And the first pitch in Chloe Borges's first full inning is a ball to Bella Rocco, who walked in the first inning. That skips in the dirt. Nice snag by the catcher Martinez. That is inside and low. Rocco is hitting 235 on the year. Four for 17. One RBI. That's a called strike. Eight, nine, and one do up for Fresno State here in the third. Rebolito and Elias to follow. And that's ball four. So Rocco works the leadoff walk. First walk issued by Borges, third from Hawaii pitching. Natalie Elias. Excuse me, Alyssa Rebolito is the batter due, but it appears she'll be pinch hit for. Nope, it'll be, yeah. Ava Tingi is going to pinch run. And Kehlani Nida is going to hit. Nida is 7 for 31 on the year, 226 average. Couple of RBI, a double on the season. Goes after the first one, runner off from first, and Tingy. And sh she's in there safely.
So Tingy with the stolen base. Her first of the season, she's one for two now. Bunt, Borges catches it in the air and Tingy has to go back to the bag. So the bunt pop out for the first out of the inning. Tingy stays at second. And that'll be the top of the order in Natalie Elias, who was struck out and grounded out. The leadoff spot and the number nine spot in the lineup for Fresno State. The only spots in the order that haven't reached base so far in this game. Elias, a transfer from Cal Baptist. We had a freshman season there last year, hit 368. Big swing and a miss. One and one. Sophomore from Purcellville, Virginia. In and over, in and over. Here's some of the defensive alignment for the Rainbow Wahines. That's Bunted foul. So it's one and two to Elias. One down, check two, go one inside. Elias on the ground, third base and foul. Stacey Mae Johnson, her third year as Fresno State's head coach, a 49 and 71 record. It's her fifth year overall as a head coach in college softball. That'll be chopped foul. The bat will continue. Line the opposite way and foul off the front of the Hawaii dugout. May Johnson coached for a couple of years at Utah Valley, 2020 and 2021. It's 36 and 35 there before becoming the Fresno State head coach in 2022. To second base, they'll get Elias at first. Nakamura to Millwood. Up to third base goes Tingy. And there's two down. The batter will be Yahi Matson is two for two with a homer and a single, two runs scored. And that ball dropped out of the zone, swing and a miss. Matson's average up to 405 now on the year. Now has eight RBI. And that was her first home run of the season that she hit in the first inning. And she's down on the count 0-2 as Chloe Borges. In relief for the starter, Addison Kostrensich. Trying to get through. Inning in two-thirds, scoreless here. That goes up the middle, backhanded by Nakamura, bounces it in with the throw to Millwood. Nicely done by Nakamura, the second baseman, up the middle to retire the side. Fresno State leaves a runner aboard at third base. So the whole half of the third we go. It remains Fresno State 6, OI nothing.
Hey fans, be sure to tell your friends and family that they can watch all the action here live from the Mary Nutter on flowsoftball.com, just as you are doing right now. If you hear my voice, Flow Softball will be live streaming all the games and we'll also have the archives available to watch on demand. That's flowsoftball.com. Scott Sudikoff back with you here on Flow Softball. 6 nothing Fresno State, Hawaii up here in the bottom of the third with 9-1-2. and two. Sierra Yamamoto leading off the left fielder. Taking ball one from Taylor Gilmore, who was rolling along, retired the first five batters she faced, gave up back-to-back two-out singles in the second, got a ground out to strand those two runners on last inning. Delivers the strike, one and one, to Yamamoto. Rocco re-entered into the game, playing third base. Also... We have Juliana Wilson moving from the designated player position to right field. Is that strike two? And with that, Elias moved from right field to center field. So the defensive changes for Fresno State. And Nitta is now in the lineup as the DP. In the ninth spot of the order is Gilmore. That's her second strikeout of the game. And now we're to the top of the order with the Rainbow Wahine trailing 6 nothing. That ball inside. Malia Zhao Jin. That's a strike on the outside corner. Transfer from Oregon State. Joined Hawaii last year. Low roller charging is the first baseman. Medellin needs help from Martinez covering for the 3 4 put out. And so it's three straight innings now where Gilmore has retired the first two batters, looking for her second 1 2 3 frame. Kaina Kelly Inoy will come to bat, grounded out the third or first time. Honorable mention all Big West. A couple of seasons ago, has a hit. That's three singles now for OI in the game, all coming with two outs in an inning. And the batter coming up will be Isabella Martinez, the Hawaii catcher. Round out the third in the first inning. Oh, sorry, you told me to move. Starting the day, starting the Weekend, we should say, going into yesterday. So that's a called strike. Martinez, top 35 in the nation in batting average, and she was 1 for 3 yesterday against Rutgers with a walk. 0 for 1 today so far. Her batting average just below 500 at 467. It was at 500 before the 0 for 1 so far today. Also, top 15 in the country in on base percentage, which right now sits at 600. Down to the count, though, 0 and 2. Low and away, 1 and 2 to Isabella Martinez, a junior from Garden Grove, California. Also, one of the toughest to strike out last year in the nation. She had a strikeout in just every 36 at bats last year. Sixth toughest to strike out in the country. And Gilmore trying to strike her out right now. She doesn't yet. Fouling it off, Martinez. First team all Big West last year for Isabella Martinez. She hit 343, nine homers, 39 RBI. Two outs, runner on at first, and a 6 nothing game. It's low, two and two. 
Martinez has worked a team high five walks this year. Struck out twice so far on the year in 15 at bats. So the pace last year was one strikeout every 36 at bats. Right now it's at uh, one every eight at bats, but obviously very early in the season. This is just her 16th at bat. And her 22nd plate appearance. Looped in the air, opposite way, right to the left fielder, Matson to retire the side. So another two-out hit for Hawaii, but the runner is left stranded. We played three full. Fresno State on top of Hawaii, 6-0 on Flow Softball. Scott Sudikoff back with you here at Cathedral City. 6-0 Fresno State, top of the fourth inning. And the first pitch of the inning is ball one to Juliana Wilson, who started as the DP, is now the right fielder for the Bulldogs. Fresno State, six runs on seven hits. They've left five runners on base. So they could have more. as That's a check swing. I don't think she went around. Keep up with USA Softball all year long at usasoftball.com. You can find local events, USA Softball National Championships. And the latest uncertified equipment is just a click away as that's looped into shallow right center field for a base hit for Wilson. So she's been on base three times, a hit by pitch, a walk, and a single, and she's already scored twice. So Wilson aboard, here is Medellin, who hit a three-run home run her last time up in the second inning. Her second long ball of the season. Pinch runner going in for Wilson now at first base. Medellin now hitting 343 on the year. Irigoyen is pinch running at first base. As that's lashed foul. Taryn Irigoyen, the junior at first base now. After the Wilson single. Chloe Borges pitched well in the relief so far. Inning in two thirds, two hits, one walk. And that's it. Ball and a strike now the count to Medellin. who hails from Santa Clarita, California, one of the most consistent on this team so far this season. Four, five, five. And again, transferred from Cal, where she hit 231 last year with eight homers and 20 RBI. Spent four years there. Run. 
Checks her swing, runner off for second base, and that is an easy tag out. And out trying to steal is Irigoyen. So, Martinez behind the dish. Isabella Martinez throws out the runner at second base. Fresno State now, the third time they've been caught stealing this season. And now they'll get the runner back on at first base as Medellin walks. Second walk from Borges, fourth walk overall drawn by the Bulldogs. Here's Lauren Almeida, two for two, with an RBI single and a run scored in the first and singled as well in the second. One out, one on. Off the foot of Almeida. Last year at Utah Tech, Almeida was a second team all whack. Whack all defensive team at 417 with five homers and 42 RBI. Started 53 games at shortstop. Starting at shortstop as well today for Fresno State. In the air, center field, left center, ranging over. Bethea makes the catch, fires it back into the infield to keep Medellin at first base. Two down here in the fourth, and the runner at first. And the batter due is Kennedy Bunker, who has an RBI single in the fielder's choice today. Up and in, and that was off the arm of Bunker. Maybe the bat. The umpires want to talk about it. Bunker didn't sell it a ton, so she's flexing the arm now, but she didn't seem to react immediately after the ball hit whatever it hit. But they are saying it is a hit by pitch, helped out by the Umpires in the field, so up to second base goes Medellin. And Bunker at first base after the hit by pitch. And that'll bring in Emma Martinez. Who's doubled and grounded out. Skies it foul off the right side. Into the stands there. So Martinez batting. It's 231 this season with runners in scoring position, 242 for overall batting average. Gorgeous delivers, lined right field. And that's a fair ball thrown in quickly, but scoring from second base is Medellin. And it's 7-0 Fresno State on a two-out RBI knock by Emma Martinez, picking up her fifth RBI of the season. You now runners remain at first and second. Bella Rocco has been on base twice via the walk. She hits it well in the left field, but right at the left fielder. Yamamoto to retire the side. So Fresno State gets a two-out run. The hit by Emma Martinez. And after three and a half innings, Fresno State now on top of Hawaii. Seven to nothing.
Haley Johnson leading off for Hawaii here. 7-0 Fresno State, bottom of the fourth, and a line drive foul down the left field line. Johnson popped out of the infield her first time. Leading softball brands Easton and Rawlings have all new Ghost Advanced and Mantra Plus bats. And if you want to increase your bat speed, reduce tension, and take your game to the next level, the Airway Performance Mouthpiece delivers these benefits and more. And that makes it 0-2. Wilson re-entered into the game, playing right field for Fresno State after she was pinch run for. Taylor Gilmore ahead 0-2 on Haley Johnson. Check swing liner caught by the third baseman Rocco for the first out of the fourth. Hawaii has three singles in the game. They've all come with two outs. A pair in the second and one more in the third. Maya Nakamura, the batter, struck out looking her first time. Taking ball one. Bob Coolin in his 33rd year as Hawaii's head coach. Again, 1,081 wins, a 61% winning percentage as Hawaii's head coach. And fouled. 1-1 one one now. To Nakamura again started his head coaching career back in the mid 80s at Bentley University, my neck of the woods in Waltham, Massachusetts. I think at that point they may have been Bentley College. Division two now. I'm not sure what they were though in the 80s. As that's stabbed by the pitcher Gilmore and bounces it in there. On three hops, stumbling and bumbling a bit was Medellin, but she's able to make the play as they have a laugh about it afterwards. So again, four innings, and the first two batters retired each of the first four. Mylia Bethea had a two-out single in the second inning. Takes it low and inside in the dirt for ball one. By the way, going from Waltham, Massachusetts to Hawaii, it's, uh, first of all, quite the trek and also quite the weather difference, as one might assume. One and one the count. Two and one now. I see in the Hawaii notes, the game notes, they were known as Bentley College back uh, in the mid to late 80s when Bob Coolin was there. And a single again for Bethay with two outs. That's four singles. They've all come with two outs for Hawaii. So they've been trying to start the party with two outs in this game, but... Haven't been successful yet. Coolin, by the way, and this also near and dear to my heart, a Somerville, Massachusetts native. I lived there for about six years, just north of the city of Boston. As that is outside for a ball to Dallas Millwood, who's one for one with a single. So Kulin, a, a New England guy, until heading out to Hawaii back in 1990. Close, but a ball. Millwood's one for one with a single. Bethay is at first after her single. Two outs, bottom four. Seven nothing Fresno State. They've hit a couple of home runs in this game. Have nine hits in total. Have left seven runners on base. Taylor Gilmore working on the shutout thus far, and she drills Millwood in the backside. So whatever it is, over the last three innings, Gilmore has not been able to 
shut the door after getting the first two outs. He's not shut the door immediately. Pinch runner coming in for the Rainbow Wahine. That appears to be Eleona Sinzori. Who will pinch run. Yep, Sinzori, a sophomore. In to run at first base. With Mason Gibbs coming up. She's 0 for 1 with a ground out to third. Gilmore has thrown 43 pitches in the three and two thirds innings. So it's been pretty economical thus far. All four hits have been singles, and now the fifth base runner of the game via the hit by pitch. Gibbs will take strike one. Coming up next, Hawaii is right back here on this field. They're going to take on Cal. Cal is currently in action against Illinois over on a different field. I forget which one exactly. <laughs> Obviously not too far away. As that's fouled. So the next game on this field is scheduled for 1 o'clock Pacific time. As that is foul near the bag. Check swing, and Gibbs is down looking. That retires the side. So again, Hawaii, for the second time in the last two innings, get two runners on with two out, but can't push across a run. We played four. Fresno State, seven. Hawaii, nothing. Scott Sudikoff back with you. 7-0 Fresno State into the fifth inning. Bulldogs out hitting the Rainbow Wahine 9-4. And leading off here is Nida for Fresno State. And she chops it up the middle by the shortstop's glove and into center field, a base hit. For Kehlani Nida. Stacy Mae Johnson again, her third year as the Fresno State head coach. A 49 and 71 record, a couple of seasons prior at Utah Valley before moving to Fresno. So Nitta aboard after the single, and now laying down the bunt is Elias, picked up by the catcher Martinez, the throw not in time, and that'll be a bunt single for Natalie Elias as they are looking to push this lead up to eight or more here in the fifth inning. Eleven hits now for the Bulldogs. They are averaging 
Almost 10 hits a game for the first 11 games of the season. In fact, actually, they were averaging 11 hits, or 9 hits per game. 9 hits per game coming into play today. They had 99 hits in the first 11 games of the year, 11 times 9. It's 99, right? So. Here we go, Chloe. Here we go. Math is not usually our strong suit. I'm Scott Sudikoff, just so you're aware that math is not my forte, as that's a called strike at the 2024 Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic here on Flow Softball, game one of five here on the Yankee Stadium field. And I'll be here with you all day. Matson is the batter right now for the Bulldogs. Of course, she's got a homer and an art, a single today. Two runs scored. Line drive caught by the third baseman, and she fakes the throw. Illinois faking the throw back to second. Talk, talk, let her know. Yeah, that is out number one here in the fifth inning. Chloe Borges in relief, three and a third now. A run on five hits, two walks, no strikeouts. Or just three innings even. Juliana Wilson. It's been on base three times. Hit by a pitch and scored in the first. Walked and scored in the second. Singled was caught. Uh, her pinch runner was then caught stealing in the fourth. Iragoyan, who pinch ran for her, was caught stealing. Two on, one out. Fifth inning, seven nothing Fresno State, looking to push that lead to eight here, and and have the chance to close things down in the bottom of the fifth. It's outside, a ball and a strike to Wilson. Fresno State playing their first game away from home today. Their seven and four start this season, of course, staying in their home state. And a nice piece by Wilson down the right field side. And yeah, that's a foul ball into the corner. Fresno State will play tomorrow against Mississippi State and then Sunday matchups with Long Beach State and Cal Poly. Mentioned earlier, Hawaii will take on Cal coming up next here on this field. And then they'll play their next games on Sunday against Illinois and Tennessee. That one out of play as well. Next pitch to Wilson, in the air, center field, caught by Bethea, fires it in to keep Nitta at second base and Elias at first base. So Borges, after allowing the single and the bunt single, a line out and a fly out, and the runners remain at first and second. Breaking ball in, strike one. Way to get ahead, way to get ahead. To Sophia, Sophia Medellin, a pop out, a three run homer, and a walk, two runs scored. Inside and low, almost tailed away from the catcher Martinez. The opposite way on a line and into right field, a base hits. Nitta will score from second. Elias is being sent home as well. No throw to the plate. And a two-run hit for Sophia Medellin. 
five RBI now in the game for her, and it's nine nothing Fresno State. Two run double for Medellin. And the Bulldogs now with the nine run lead. Fly ball off the bat of Elmita. In back of first base, it's Nakamura makes the catch to retire the side. But the Bulldogs add a pair on the two run double by Sophia Medellin. And now they can close things down in the bottom of the fifth on top, nine nothing. Are you back on, are you on this field next? Oh, okay. Nine nothing Fresno State into the bottom of the fifth inning, and a new pitcher in for Fresno State is Soraya Nice, a sophomore from Newburgh, Oregon. This is going to be her seventh appearance, a one on one record with a 2.86 ERA. She comes in for the starter, Taylor Gilmore, four innings, four hits, no runs, no walks, three strikeouts, one hit batter. 47 pitches, 34 for strikes. Hawaii has 9-1 and 2 due up. Here in what is, at this point, their last chance, down 9-0. Here you go, Jamie. Yamamoto struck out swinging against Gilmore. Fresno State adding two more runs in the top of this inning to get to 9 Cal right now beating Illinois 11-1 in the bottom of the third. Cal will be moving over here to this field to take on Hawaii next. The game's scheduled for 1 o'clock Pacific time, so an hour and 12 minutes from now. Nice, the lefty coming home. Outside corner, strike three. Gets the strikeout. It's a fourth strikeout by Fresno State pitching. And low ball one to Malia Zhao Jin. Oh for two with two ground outs. That's a called strike.
Popped up. Infield caught right down the first base line by Medellin, and there's two down here in the fifth. Well, every base runner Hawaii has had today has come with two outs. Two singles in the second, a single in the third, a single and a hit by pitch in the fourth. So the first two batters of every inning have been retired in order. Swing and a miss by Kayena Kelinoy. It's one for two with a single. Soraya Nice trying to end this one and five. The Bulldogs up nine nothing. That's high, one and one. Fresno State will get to enjoy the rest of the day after this one. One game tomorrow and two on Sunday. Not bad to be done potentially around noontime. We have the rest of the day. I'm sure they've got something fun planned. One-two pitch and staying alive, Illinois. Nine runs, 12 hits, no errors. Eight runners left for Fresno State. No runs, four hits, no errors. Five left for Hawaii. Round of the third, Rocco the throw, and that retires the side and ends the ball game. Fresno State will win this one, nine to nothing in five innings. You see the final totals there again, 12 hits for the Bulldogs. They had a couple of home runs, including the solo home run by Matson and a three-run homer by Sophia Medellin. Medellin, five RBI in the game, a homer, a double, also a walk, and two runs scored. The starting pitcher for the Bulldogs gets the win. And that, of course, was Taylor Gilmore. Four innings, four hits, no runs, no walks, and three strikeouts. Fresno State now 8-4 and four on the season. And Hawaii falling to 1-6. and six. Rainbow Wahine will be right back out on this field in about an hour from now to take on California. And that's going to be our next game here at Yankee Stadium Field. This has been a presentation of Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic and Flow Sports from Cathedral City, California. Again, the final score, Fresno State 9, Hawaii nothing in five innings. Again, for more softball, you tune in to Flow Sports for games across all the big league dreams fields, including Wrigley, Fenway, Des Moines, and Pawtucket. And again, stay tuned here to Yankee Field as we'll be back with you about an hour and eight minutes from now, give or take. Uh, as Hawaii will take on California. But for now, I'm Scott Sudikoff saying so long, and we thank you for watching on Flow Softball.